morning. I'm down at Little Sea Caravan Park this morning, starting another coast path walk, headed up towards Abbotsbury. And I know this sort of stretch of old, it <laughs> can be very muddy. It's been a very wet winter and um, I walked my dog in a field not too far from here and some of that is unpassable at the moment. So what mud I'm going to find along the way today, um, it's going to be interesting. So come along for the ride. I'm walking from Little Sea Caravan Park on the outskirts of Weymouth to Abbotsbury. It's about eight miles or so. So by the time I've walked there and back, as well as walking home afterwards, my legs will be pretty close to dropping off. As usual though, you will have the alternative of catching the bus back if you choose to follow in my footsteps, and I'll give you more details on that later. We'll be passing a few interesting places along the way, including Moonfleet Manor, Abbotsbury Swannery, and finishing up with a visit to St Catherine's Chapel, which, if you don't know about that, it's the most significant landmark on this stretch of coastline. It's a very picturesque little chapel on the top of the hill, and I've got some interesting stuff to tell you about it. This one's the coast path. If it's not, it'll do me anyway. If it's not, it should be. That's the fleet, which is an inland body of water, which is only separated from the sea by that bank of shingle you see there called Chesil Beach or Chesil Bank and uh, compared to the, the roughness of the sea behind it's always pretty calm on here pretty shallow so it's the ideal spot for my first paddle board out in of the year I should think which uh, I'll be doing in a few weeks time hopefully if you want to see that you know where to find it here on YouTube see they call this bit the nature reserve and uh, it's part of the Haven caravan site here I've stayed here back in the days before uh, before I lived in Weymouth and when I was still using tents for camping rather than I'm more of a van man these days but back then I was in tents and um, very intense <laughs> And uh, if you book late, you could end up staying on this little field here, which is kind of not quite part of the site, but because um, you're overlooking the fleet there, it's a lovely spot. Lucky if you get to stay on this bit, I think. Yeah, I said about eight miles, eight and a half. I suppose it depends what part of Abbotsbury you're going to. Crack on, I suppose, see how we get on. lack of mud here as you can see but most of it's pretty dry mud so no problem passing it
do wonder. I think it might just be a breakwater post, but that's uh That's the extent of my zoom. So if you can see it on the big screen, you're doing better than I am from here. I think it's just a post. Yep, it's that time again. Two one. I wonder how long this will last. Obviously the tide's out at the moment. Let's see. The water would come in and fill most of this usually. Ah. We have the mud again. Alternative route, mm, don't look too viable. Mud bath, here we come. This is definitely the worst bit of mud I've found yet. I think it's still passable though. Just pushing my way through the bushes a little. Keeping to the edge. Well, I got through that all right, but uh, now my boots are twice as heavy with all the mud they're carrying. like a summer's day. There you go, answer to earlier question, what is that on the water? It's one of them. I think I'll leave it at that. Good one. Stayed there a few times. What I like about this place, this is one of the few caravan parks I've been to where you can take your dog in the bar. Very well looked after site. 
So thoroughly recommended if you want to come this way. East Fleet Farm. And this is where it is. signs in it so you don't know which way you're going. So it must be this way. It must be this way. We're in Moonfleet country now. Moonfleet was a novel written by someone called J. Mead Faulkner back in 1898. It's all about smugglers and pirates and that kind of thing. It's been made into countless um, TV programs and films. Most recent one was in 2013, starring Ray Winston and Omid Jelly and a few other people. Interesting story of smuggling, anyway. Worth checking out if you get a chance to see it on the telly. Recommended by me. It's not a compulsory part of the coast path to walk around the gun emplacement there, but all good fun. Still five miles to Abbott's Spring, we're having a giraffe. In 1603, Moonfleet Manor played a central role in the book Moonfleet that I spoke about earlier. Nowadays, it's a luxury hotel. So if you like all this scenery and you've got a few quid, maybe this is more up your street than the caravan sites I tried to sell you earlier.
the other day. This is where the donkeys used to graze in the winter, the ones from Weymouth Beach. Super Joe Navigator has gone the wrong way. Again. And just for once, onwards and upwards was the wrong way. So now I've got to try and find my way back to get on the coast path. See how I get on with that. Well, thanks to a missing sign, I was about half, half a mile up the hill there. I went up a hill, I didn't need to go up. Typical me. Anyway, thanks to Google Maps, back on the right route and uh, cracking on. And the day's cracking on too. I'll have to crack on, I'm running out of time. It'll be dark on my way back. This walk is uh, turning out to be a bit longer than I intended. They say it's eight miles, but it's more than that, I'm sure. I know I've pedalled around a lot today, changing camera fittings and batteries and everything around. And I stopped for something to eat as well, but it just seems to be taking too long. So there's me wondering how people get to them huts on the other side of the, the fleet there, on, on the Chesil Bank. Wondering if they walk all the way down on those pebbles. No, what a donut. They use a boat. I have to say it's been a lovely day today, plenty of sunshine and absolutely calm as anything out. Just slightest bit of breeze in a couple of places, temperature's quite low but don't really worry about that when I'm walking. Okay, how about some signs here, let's see where we're going. I think it's straightforward enough. Coast path to Ferry Bridge, seven miles, yeah, and the rest. Lower Farm, Langton Herring, Langton Herring. But they don't make any sense, I just thought it was quite straightforward. And I totally missed the sign. It says Coast Brath to Habitsbury, three and a quarter miles. Yeah. <laughs> Headed towards the stile. Oh, there's a wide open gate. Stile. 
gate. Take a line picky. Some nice trees. Let's see if we've got a mileage this time. Three. It's a retake. I've got a strange recollection of this bit just come back to me and I know I said I'd done this when I was 11 years old I walked this way with me dad and uh, you wouldn't expect me to remember much and I don't if I'm honest but I've just had this flashback I seem to remember walking through this field where you've got this stream running through it and uh, I just remember my dad saying oh, I think we need to be on the other side of the stream and if I remember rightly, we crossed it by jumping precariously and uh, then found out we didn't want to be on the other side of the stream as well so we had to do it all over again yeah, a fun day out so we travelled at least a quarter of a mile since the last sign gave us three miles let's see what this one gives us don't think it's got a mileage on it, has it? No, keeping the managers to themselves. Okay, private no access. Abbots be that way, still no mileage. So this is the way it is, this is the way it is. First style of the day. And it's come quite late in the day when my legs are probably quite tired already. And Oh, it's quite sturdy. Didn't look that sturdy. It's taking me weight all right. Finally a hill that I am supposed to climb. Onwards and upwards. have we got here? Ah, oh, two and a quarter miles. Still extracting the urine a little bit, but not as bad as some of the signs I've already seen. I'll probably walk another half a mile and see one that says two and an eighth a mile. We'll see. If you've enjoyed this walk so far, then it's likely that you might enjoy the other trip I did in the same bit of countryside, which was a bike ride, which passed right through where I'm standing, right through this road. I also went to Abbotsbury. So yeah, think about giving that a watch. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'll get out of the way of this car. <laughs> Try not to get run over while filming and uh then i'll crack on and the information is two miles to rabbits for now <sighs> <laughs> judging by the map then it looks like we're heading to the the top of the hill and then it'll be bare left looks like there weren't no real climbing in this That was a quarter of a mile apparently. Note to self, when filming walks, do shorter walks. It's hard work, carrying all this bloody gear around all day, I can tell you. 
But if you people out there enjoy it, then it's worth my while. So let me know you enjoy it by giving me a like. Subscribing if you haven't already done so. finishing today St Catherine's Chapel up on the hill you definitely want to stick around and wait for that it happens for a quarter of a mile did I ever think I'd see that final hill up to St Catherine's Chapel. Now what I should tell you about St Catherine's Chapel is it's named after Catherine of Alexandria who was tortured by a Roman Emperor. Apparently she was broken on the wheel which I didn't know what that meant so I googled it and it's a form of execution when they strap you to a wheel. Anyway, next time you go to a fireworks display and you see Catherine wheels, you know who they're named after. She's apparently the patron saint of virgins. And uh, apparently there's a ritual where you come up here to the, the chapel and uh, pray for a husband if you're a virgin. I made it to the chapel, eventually. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it here and uh, thanks for watching and see you all again on the next one. Don't forget to like it and subscribe and all those things if you haven't already done any of that. And um, if you're worried about me and how I'm going to get home, you needn't worry because I called the cavalry. My wife's at the bottom of the hill waiting for me in the car, so be home in no time. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon on, on the next one.